Welcome to the Day Optimizer tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a commitment list. If you haven't actually built a commitment list yet, please watch the video, Building a Commitment List. Now, the Day Optimizer Commitment List dashboard has been designed to help you optimize your use of a commitment list. Once again, a commitment list is a focus list of everything that we plan to do today, with everything that's on our master task list that we don't plan to do today removed. You can see here on the left-hand side is our remaining commitments. This is everything that we decide to do today that we haven't yet gotten done. On the right-hand side, you can see the boxes for done and skip. These are commitments that we've either done today or decided to skip explicitly. As we go through our day, we're gonna move things from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Let's see how that's done. So let's say I've processed my emails in the morning. I come and I click the status icon and switch it to done. That moves the, the commitment over to the right-hand side to the done commitments and crosses off. This does two things. The act of crossing something off actually gives us a little dopamine hit that increases our motivation for doing other things throughout the day. The more we can cross things off our list, the more we increase our motivation for doing more and get a sense of accomplishment of what we actually did today. The second thing it does is it removes it from the left-hand column so we're no longer distracted by it throughout the day. Okay, so let's process some other things. So we click a couple other things done. But let's say we work on our website today, but we don't actually finish it. Day Optimizer has this concept of done today versus done forever. When I click done today, it still gets moved to the done commitments, but it doesn't get lost. It will reappear in the unfinished tasks when I plan my next day. The benefit here though is we're still crossing it off. So we're still getting that sense of accomplishment. We still can look and say, hey, I worked on that today. Unlike a normal task list where you only cross it off in, when you're done and then it disappears. This lets you cross it off every single day until it's done and then you can cross it off as done forever. So as we go through our day, we might also discover that there's items that we're not going to do today. Like, I'm not going to return the item to the score. I can just say, skip today. That removes it from my list of things to do today, my remaining commitments, but I can still keep track of it. It doesn't cross it off because I didn't actually do it, but I at least remove it from my view. Now, if I don't think I will ever do it, I can click won't do. Won't do means I'm never going to do this task again. Finally, we have the new future tasks. Throughout the day, you might have things that come up that you remember you need to do tomorrow or sometime in the future. You can just come here and type them in and click enter and they'll be added to your list. The goal here is to get it out of your head so you can stay focused. Likewise, if you're having distractions or interruptions coming out throughout the day, a great way to manage those is just to schedule them for later. So I'm going to say, call Sue back, hit enter, that gets added to my list for later in the day, and I don't need to address it right now. This is a great way to deal with distractions and interruptions throughout the day. So that's how you use a commitment list. There's lots more that we could go into, like how to use tags, how to use checkbox lists, and some of the more advanced features of the task flow. But I won't get into that. Watch some of the other videos. If you have any questions, just email support at dayoptimizer.com.